And this is a big, nasty invasive carcinoma. And when you go closer, the tumor cells are very ugly. They've got big, huge nuclei with washed out pale chromatin and large, prominent central nucleoli. And then there's lymphocytes everywhere surrounding the nest of tumor and infiltrating into the nest of tumor. So this is an example. Oh, and there are a lot of plasma cells in this one. This is a rare bird in the skin. So this is lymphoepithelioma-like carcinoma, and that's because it's kind of similar in, in pattern to uh, what used to be called basically nasopharyngeal carcinomas, which used to be referred to as lymphoepithelioma. And in the nasal cavity, things like this are in certain populations are um, Epstein-Barr virus driven. In the skin, that is not the case as far as I understand. But lymphocytes surrounding the nest and infiltrating the nest. But here we've got lymphocytes infiltrating, peppering into the nests of tumor cells, right? Like from low power, this thing is like basically an ugly, poorly differentiated carcinoma swimming in a sea of lymphocytes, right? I also feel like the, the cytology of these cells has a very characteristic look that's different from most squames. 